Testing. <laughs> oh, I just heard it. Yes. Thank you. All right. So, we had some technical difficulties, and we are now here. I'm here with Jason the God. We're going to be commentating this first Redwood Cup Series race. It's a brand new series. It's a Continuation of the Torque PS4 NASCAR series with a new leadership, new leader, new tracks, new drivers. It's uh, pretty exciting. We got the previous season champion DJ joining them. And uh, Jason, he's going to be my pick for tonight. <laughs> uh, I would have to agree. Uh, it was unknown to the broadcast that he was going to join pre-race and then when he showed up you know, he became a shoe win. So, yeah. Yeah, he's got to be DJ. So, I think most people would pick DJ. Um, smart money would be on him. If you had to pick somebody not named DJ, who would that be? Well, I think I would have to go with uh, Mr. Josh. Uh, we were talking before the broadcast. You said he was fast. He though he's never won a TNS race. This may not be TNS, but I think now he, he finally gets a W. I would love to see that happen. Uh, out of everyone in here, I would like to see him win most. Um, but since he with, went with him, I'm going to go with a different driver. The person who won the very first Torque NASCAR race at Daytona, and that's Blackjack Jerry. Also the person I want to see this win this race the least amount so <laughs> uh, blackjack good luck and fuck you at the same time <laughs> good luck and you fuck yourself <laughs> shadow Hi. shadow I, I have much love for you my friend and thank you for tuning in to the stream I would be more than happy to see you win as well but Josh the reason I said that he I think he has close to a hundred Sunday starts with with no win, so uh, that's that's the only reason. Alrighty, looks like we are launching the lobby, folks. It's about to go down. We got eleven people watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Good luck, Shadow. We got lots of new drivers here. Uh, I've heard a lot about this character right here, Darn. He's got an interesting outfit. He won the shootout race last night. I'm going to go ahead and place a thousand dollars on him, too. Oh, a turtle squatch. Must be a very endangered species. <laughs> turtle squatch. Alright, I'm gonna try to find myself a good... ...spot to spectate from. Actually, you know what I should do? I should go over there like Teddy does for the beginning and then 
go up in the grandstands. Oops. Where where are you posted at, Jason? Uh, I'm over at this. I think it's a hangar over at turn three. I got a pretty good view of turn three and four. Yeah, I can and check out where you're at. It's the start of pit road. Hello, Dustin. Thanks for tuning in. Checking out the stream. Alright, make sure I put my car out of the way. Yeah, I hear you, Shadow. I, I personally, I'd rather do it this way. I, I like running around the track, but I, I know what you're saying. It's better to be able to spectate on the cars you want doing it that way. Alright, it looks like for a lineup, we got Birdie on the pole, Shadow Blazing lining up second, Malloy in third, Josh fourth, King James in fifth. I cannot see who is in sixth. Hammerman in 7th, Keeper in 8th, Giraffe in ninth, Scurry 10th, DJ all the way in 11th qualifying, wow, didn't expect to see that. Oh, Pedro lining up 12th, Vitro 13th, Darn 14th. Oh, what's up, Vicious? Okay, right on, man. 15th, we got Job Bless. 16th, Johnny Racer. The black track in the back, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy's Dark Horse pick, start from the back. Did he, like, not qualify? What the hell? He's behind Dega. What happened? Oof. Hey, DJ. Good luck, man. You were... You're... You're... Jason and I's pick. The, the booth... The booth's pick likes you, buddy. Go kill. I guess I should get out of the track. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized they're, like, all lined up. Right? Like, I'm just... Alright, they're looking ready to go. We got one guy out of line up there. I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe maybe they're having a debate about positioning. This this race is about to get going. We got 60 laps ahead of us. Still haven't got a response on what... Oh, caution freeze lap 50. Thank you, Giraffe. What, what were the pit windows, Jason? I know 15 to 25. Was there a second one, too? Or? I think like 35 to 45 or 45 to 55, maybe? I just realized these walls are so high. I'm, I'm never getting out of that. Over that wall. Oh, yeah. Oh, 45 to 55. Thank you, Shadow. Okay, so they have actually five laps of pit window in the caution free. Ooh, period. That's that is interesting. Oh, here they go, led by Birdie. Just getting rolling here in the back. We got Exotic at the rear of the field. Still creeping. Creeping. Close it down again. Very slow pace. And he's off. 
Alright, pretty good restart by Birdie there. I'm going to try to get into these grandstands. Fall back, falls back a bit as they head into turn one. Oh god, really far. Not quite sure where I'm going yet, so just bear with me till I find a good spot. To people spectating. As they head down the back stretch. DJ is already in the lead, followed by Qbert and Crucifix, your top three. We got DJ in an unsponsored vehicle. Oh, there's contact. There's oh. one, there, we have a spin. Oh, someone's flipping Hammerman. They have the same rules as TNS, I believe. No cautions on the first lap, so this should remain caution free. Oh man, that's really gonna hurt Hammerman. He's gonna hope for caution here. I believe Viper Vision led the very first lap. Try to get on top of this when we got a minute here. Hopefully, I can get behind this building. Oh, there's six wide heading down the back stretch. There's a lot of bump it. Oh, and draft is around. Uh -oh. Only one car, no caution. Okay, okay. Looks like we got crucifix waiting on him. Draft tags the back of the field. Oh, that was just shadow blazing viper. Josh, the top three. All right, so. Good news is I got to the top of the grandstand. The bad news is you can't get on top. <laughs> oh, damn. All right, so to the building I go. Over in oh, wow, I'm going to die. Oh, Jason. The oh, first God, person gosh. to die in the Redwood <laughs> Cup Series. <laughs> We're down a commentator. I should probably just respawn. That would be quicker. Alright, well luckily this track's big enough, so they're only in the back here, so I got time. <laughs> yeah, I'm right here with you. I'm, I'm right behind you. You know, the broadcast team is, is the real the real brave ones of the whole racing operation. Never forget that, folks. <laughs> we put our lives on the line. <laughs> on this side. Where I still haven't found this maze that giraffe was talking about. Okay, so there's a ladder over here, but my guy won't go up it. Boo. Ah, oh, that sucks. What the hell kind of ladder is this? That is an imposter ladder. Oh, we got Birdie in the lead with Scurry, Josh, there's DJ in the mix. Which one wanted to turn three? Hopefully this ladder works. Oh, more contact. Viper almost gets spun. Oh, all right. So the the Pegasus hangar ladders do not work. Okay. That's dumb. This one works over here. I wonder if this is the thing that giraffe is the gray thing on this side. It's got to be. Damn it! That means I'm gonna have to go onto the track. Uh, just bear with me to my my nine spectators. <laughs> oh, and Crucifix is around on the back stretch. Or Exotic, not Crucifix, excuse me. Exotic is around. Because of the base of the ladders below the prop. Yeah, probably. The, the ladders work on the other side, the side that Jason's in in turn three. They're just not working on this side. So I'll figure it out. I'm going to, once this group goes by, I'm going to hop in and go up there. So just bear with me for a lap, guys. A lap or two. One tenth of the way through the race. There's seven wide on the back stretch. A lot of bumping and banging. Um, I think I gotta go this way. Ooh, there's a 
like five wide, three rows deep. Oh, you're crazy. We got three, three good packs for me. Here they come down the back stretch. Blackjack in the lead. Oh, and King James is around. He spins. Oh, that's got to be a caution. That's got to be a caution, I would say. About four or five cars involved in that one. Damn. Yeah, that's probably going to be a caution. Uh, as far as I know, they have the same rules as TNS. So. <laughs> one got hooked in front of the field and caught everybody. Nowhere to go. Oh, I think I found it. Vicious. I think that's the spot right up there. Just gonna take me a while to get there. Running, man. This must be the maze that Giraffe was talking about. Oh, my character's at a stand. Boom. Looks like we are under caution. Alright, so we are under caution. I'm gonna get a lap check here as soon as I get situated. I think should be lap seven, seven or eight. But, let's guess. Alright, I have made it to the grandstands where I wanted to be. perfect view of yeah you know what would have been better vicious is if he had a ramp going up to the top of this part up there that would be the ultimate spectating platform but this will do right here because I can see turns three four one and two in all of the backstretch except for the entrance to three well, that's my prime viewing angle, so... <laughs> nice. Let's see if I can see you. Um... Alright, I, oh. I can get an order. I can see your dot on the map. I can't see you, though. Oh, you're not on the building anymore, are you? I am. Oh, you are? What the fuck? I can shoot a flare, but I don't know if they like that. Nah, yeah, no, 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 don't do that. Alright, so on the restart, we got C.S. Malloy and Qbert in the front row, followed by Cam and Josh and Blackjack. There's our picks next to each other. Dirty Dagan and Vitro, Viper Vision and Scurry, Dirty Jaw, Shadow and DJ, King James, Psycho, Exotic and High Voltage, Johnny Racer and Darn, Crucifix and Pedro, Giraffe and Hammerman round out the field. Nice. Loading up to Josh's stream right now. So. They're six wide again. Clean into turn three. Yeah, that's still together at this point. It does look like, I don't know if you're seeing it, but it looks like the cars are twitching a little bit on my stream. I don't know if that's... Yeah, happening. when they when they get in about the middle of four, I think there's just a bunch of props right there. And it, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, it happened a couple laps ago. I thought there was going to be a big pile up, but on the stream I'm watching it look normal. Looks like the pack's still together. There's one car. Pedro, who's fallen out of the slipstream. Oh, Shadow runs Vitro off the track. 
stay green, everyone stays, keeps it together. Oh my god, big Ooh, lag. Yeah, there is some serious lag going on there. Whoa. I can't tell what car that is. I believe it's scurry, but I could be wrong. Oh, King James goes around. Uh, looks like Viper Vision maybe got into him. Second incident in turn two. Oh, four cars. That must be a caution. Another two cars. Oh, and Psycho's around on the back stretch. Scurry pulls over for that one. We got a car just sitting. Oh. It looked like he was sitting. I don't know if he's sitting or lagging. Hey, Teddy, yeah, this is PS4. This is the Redwood Cup Series, a uh, continuation of the Torque NASCAR Series that Giraffe has taken over and rebranded. It looks like Malloy won that race to the line there. It, to me, doesn't appear oh, that they're under caution. I, yeah, though, they stay green, it looks like. Okay, alright. It was definitely multiple cars, multiple incidents there. Could have been a caution. Oh, what is that? Did someone just lag? It looks like someone's sitting in the middle of the turn again. Yeah, it keeps happening. Yeah, I think someone in there is very lagging very badly. I'm having a hard time determining whose car that is. So we got two groups, and then a couple drivers by themselves, and then a third group of four. Oh, it looks like Giraffe is, might be losing the front pack. So he's gonna need a caution or a lucky, lucky slide to catch back up. Oop, there's the lag again. There's a white car this time. Might not be happening for them. Alright, so they are... What map are they at? They are... They just hit 14, so pits will be opening next lap, so our eyes are gonna be focused on the pit road. Hubert may be dropping off the main pack as well. They're losing them one by one. It's good for the front pack, bad for the people losing it. As the more laps they run, the more they're going to fall behind. But that second group is right there, and once they pick those numbers up, it might bring them back to that first group. I've been there, Jeremy. I know you've been there. It's that slipstream. It's a helpless feeling. Oh, it's, it's, yes, it is, indeed. So I believe. Pits are open until lap 25, so we got a very good shot here of pit road. We got one car way in the back, who is that? Psycho. What would you do here, Jeremy? Pit with a group, would you try to make a smaller group to pit with? Daytona's a numbers game, I would do whatever gave me the best chance to get into a bit larger group. So if I was in the front pack, I'm pitting when they pit. If I wasn't in the front pack, I'm pitting when the rest pit. Ooh, so interesting. We got a split in the front pack here. We got Malloy, Qbert, and Blackjack all on pit road. Hammerman. And that looks like that's it for the first lap of the pit window. 
in the mail. We only got five in the big front pack. But that second pack looks like they're gaining on them. They're about to be bigger than they are. Yeah. Oh, Vitro gets tagged off the track, but everyone stays green. If he keeps getting roughed up, it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Right, pack of five, they stay out. Yep. Second pack's looks, coming in. Looks like that pack is split off from the first group. They did it at a good time. They didn't get caught up by anybody. It's slower than them. So we got Giraffe, Viper, Jaw, and Cuber. Oh, Cuber picked that low. Who the hell? Is I must have misread the name on the first one, first go around. Lead Sorry. pack, still yet to pit. We got Dirty Dega and... God, who's that with him? And Johnny Racer in 6th and 7th. <laughs> Unpack staying out. That's a strong five right there. You have Vitro, Crucifix, Exotic, Josh, and DJ. Yeah, I think uh, I think if you're them, you're quick. You stay out. Try to make up as much distance as you can. Maybe you get lucky on a yellow. I don't know. Yeah, I I would have to say that I would bet that DJ has come on mic and said hey let's stay out as long as we can and, and try to sep keep separating because right now it looks like they're certainly separating themselves from the rest of the field oh yeah this race stays green that's your top five right there alright they are pitting three of them pit Exotic DJ and Josh, an interesting decision. Vitrode and Crucifix stay out. So, interesting. Here. You gotta think those other two are coming in this lap. You can't let uh, that pack of three gain too much on you. Alright, looks like they fell right in line with that other group there. Oh, it might have worked out well for him. So I think the longer that Vitro and Crucifix stay out is going to hurt them. And they're beeping. So, yep, here they come. They're coming down pit road now. I think they realize that. Yeah, that was smart. <laughs> I think they should be able to catch him on the way out. Mm. Might be close. Yeah. Ooh, watch oh. the stream. Is there another slowdown? Oh, they got him. They barely got him. Uh, Vitro might not have it. He might have lost Crucifix there. Nope, yeah, he got he's... it. Yeah, he hung yeah. on to it. Wow. So them staying out that extra lap almost just cost them big time. Now we got a big front pack. We got, what was that, eight in the front pack? Yep, looks like it. So we have Darn, Blackjack, Beatroad, Crucifix, High Voltage, King James, Psycho, and Shadow. So a couple rookies, a couple veterans. Left coming to here. Okay, now so the field's. Oh, 
They're on lap 21, so they got four laps left in this window. I'm not sure if everyone has pit yet. Now the field separated themselves, do you foresee another caution? Um, I do. I do foresee another caution, uh, but the field is pretty spread out, so I, I think the longer the race goes, I mean, obviously less likely, but I think if there's going to be a caution, it'll probably be in the next 10 laps, would be my guess. I think the only people we're waiting on to pit are Dega and... Whoever he's with. Johnny Racer? I don't think they, I don't know if they've pitted yet. What position are they in? Or maybe they have, because they look like they're getting, are they lapped? Like they're... Dirty Dig is not even showing on my, like, position chart. What position uh, is, is he in for you? He keeps going back and forth between 16th and 17th. Oh, okay, yes he is there as well. I'm fucking blind. I don't know if they've pitted yet or they've been lapped. I have not seen them come in. Uh... So, yeah, I, I don't believe they have, but I could be wrong. This Pedro guy, he's been just driving by himself for quite a long time now. Alright, Jason, so we have DJ up there, we have Blackjack, and Josh. So, so far, all the picks are looking pretty good. Yep, looks calm. Looks like everyone's kind of settled in. They're in it for the long haul now. Front pack still going eight strong. Well, the group that has the most likelihood of having a caution is the front pack. Up oh, here comes somebody in the pits, Shadow and King James. Someone else just came in. Psycho. The group that is most likely to have a caution is the front pack, but that's also the group that least wants a caution, so... Yeah, you gotta think they'll play nice, <clears throat> at least until we get to caution free, and then you never know what'll happen. Oh, they're getting dicey. They almost just have a caution right there. <laughs> Yeah, they are not racing. I mean, they're racing them to win on lap 24, 25. <laughs> that front pack is, uh, they are not playing it safe. Scurry just hit lap 26, so pit window looks like it. I think pit window's over. All right, so pit window's over. Uh, I do not recall seeing Dega and Johnny Racer come down pit road, but We'll have to double check the footage on that after. Yeah, I don't remember you saying it, and no offense to them, but it seems like they are a touch high up the order. 
adjusted from what you would expect. Anyways. Yeah, we're going to keep our eye on them on the second pit window, which is going to be 45 to 55, and that's also going to be interesting time for this front pack. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, I think we'll see. try to see another group, small group split off, and try to break away, make up a bunch of time, but if the group up front catches them, or, you know, covers them off, <clears throat> So they're back in their big pack. That front pack's moving. Let's see how far behind. Who are these two here? So here's Viper Vision and Giraffe, and they're working together, and they both know how to use Slipstream. So let's see if they could catch that group, because that group isn't working together too well. Two cars? I don't know if that's going to be enough, but... It'll be interesting. Giraffe's letting letting them get far ahead, getting those long slip streams. It looks like. They got two slips on the back stretch. Oop, we got a driver on the grass. Well, this big pack here in the back could also have a caution. There's about seven of them. Got to keep our eyes on that as well. Let's look at this other big pack. So who do we have here? We have high voltage, James, Hammer, Scurry. If there's going to be a caution, I'd imagine it'd be that pack. Birdie and Shadow, yeah, uh, smart money would be on that pack. They're the ones that need the caution the most. And, you know, they're going to be racing hard regardless. So. Yeah, Viper and Giraffe are definitely not gaining on that lead pack they're losing about a car length or two per lap it looks like two cars just ain't going to cut it here you know like you said earlier it's a numbers game it might be worthwhile for them to even they got a group of two right behind them in cubert and jaw it might be worthwhile and the four, four could probably catch that front pack. Could, but it'd be risky. It would be I mean, risky. If you, if you they get a are... caution, I guess it doesn't matter, but... Yeah. I mean, you also gotta think, maybe that front pack, two of them spin off, and you catch up to them. Mm -hmm. Then no, maybe you got a chance. I should pull up Camp Street. Instead of uh, scurries, so I get a view on what's going on in the front pack. So we got a pack of eight leading the race. We got a pack of seven in the back, and a couple of packs of twos, and a couple of solos in between. Oh, Pedro finally has a drafting partner. Hey, Stig. Yeah, that was my wild card pick, was Blackjack. Jason took Josh for his wild card. I took Blackjack, and we both picked DJ as our main pick. Tell you though, th this this rookie Darn, he's he won the shootout last night. He was able to s defend anyone getting them around him coming out of the last turn. Yeah, Giraffe, like he's running well tonight. Yeah, Giraffe's been speaking highly of him. It'd be interesting to see how he how he does here at the end. So the front pack is coming up on 
two lap cars, but they are fighting for a position, so... Ooh. I don't know if that was a lag spike. Okay. A lot of contact on my screen. Somebody may be dropping off the front pack. Oh, no, they don't. No, they don't. DJ, never mind. <clears throat> Imagine DJ losing the slipstream at their time. Alright, so they're on lap 34 of 60 right now. So we have nine laps until, until the final pit window. Like the lead pack catching the lap cars here soon. Yeah, it's you can see. I mean, it's 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 actually not by much. Every lap, I'm watching and marking on the track where they're at, but it, they're not catching them by much. It's only maybe a car length or two per lap. Not not as much as you'd expect with a pack of eight. So it looks like someone did lose the front pack, and that is going to be darn. Commentator's curse. It, the Powers Jeremy curse continues. So this is bad news for him, but good news for Giraffe and Viper, because that's what they need. They need that third person to slipstream. Three people can catch that pack. Yep, I think if I was darn here, I'd let off and try to catch them as soon as possible. It's going to be his only option, I think. Yep. I, I would do the catch same. Catch the lap cars. Vitro staying in the middle of the track. Or not Vitro, Pedro. Oh, he's getting kind of high now. Oh, DJ's talking on Mike. He's saying, yield, <laughs> psycho. Ooh, it looks like the front pack might have split a little. Let's see how, how they come out of turn two here. They're very spread out. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, there's six cars in that front pack. I don't know who who dropped out, but Psycho for Love has left. All right, so we have a pack of four and a pack of two. And another pack of two, but those are lap cars. I think Blackjack's the one that got dropped out of that top pack. Okay, so Exotic is not a lap car, but he lost the pack, and now he's he's working with Pedro. He's, he's in bad shape. Oh, Exotic. Oh, damn. So those lap cars drastically affected that front pack. Yep, we got DJ, Crucifix, Vitro, and Josh in the front pack, with Blackjack and Malloy right behind him. Oh, they might have lost him. But... I mean, no, Darn did drop back to work with Giraffe and uh, Viper. Smart uh -huh. on his part. Oh, DJ and Vitro almost get into it. There's some beeping going on. Oh, yeah, I see. I'm watching Josh's stream. Blackjack and Malloy are right there. I don't think they're going to be able to catch him, though. Viper, Darn, and Giraffe are trying to work together, but they're hitting all those lap cars that the front pack just went through, so tough going there. We got a pack of three here, Shadow, James, and Johnny. Oh, Crucifix stayed low. Josh wasn't expecting it. That was almost a wreck.
So Giraffe has picked up Exotic and Pedro. Pedro it looks like he's falling back off that. No, he's still there. Now what's interesting is Pedro is a lap car. Yeah, I'm not sure the uh, the yielding rules for this series, so it's, it's tough to say if he should be there, but... Giraffe is the leader of this series, so I gotta imagine you would tell him if he wasn't supposed to be. Lap check right here, courtesy of Cameron and Josh. Lap 41. All right, Jason, so we're going into the final pit window. Let's put yourself in the, the shoes of DJ. We got some big shoes to fill here. What uh, what are you doing? Because you know everyone's looking to see what, what's DJ going to do. Uh, I think I would try to, you know, I think since I have the numbers game on the pack behind, uh, I don't foresee another caution coming, you know, uh, we got a group of five and a group of four, that's really about the only areas it could happen. I get a couple groups of four, but I think that, first, that front pack is going to stay out as long as possible, try to put as much distance as they can. What about you? What would you do, Jeremy? I agree. Uh, I I would just do whatever it took for us four to steer clear of other cars. I would not want to catch that pack in front of me. And obviously I don't want the pack behind me to catch us. So as soon as we started getting close to any other cars, I would try to organize for everyone to pit that lap and avoid other cars at all costs would be my game plan and I believe DJ is gonna or probably has already said that to those guys and that's good especially uh, as we saw earlier how the lap cars really affect the reason split up that front pack pretty much in three packs almost so the one wild card here I'd say is you have Vitrode and Crucifix who pitted on their own and then you have DJ and Josh who pitted together so I would kind of say those two you have two pairs of teammates here almost Josh and DJ and Crucifix and Vitrode so I'm willing to bet that they all don't pit together I think you're going to see them pit separately. I could, I could all see that happen. That's a good, good point. Although I'd have to, I'd have to imagine in the back of their minds after seeing that uh, crucifix in vitro have to be thinking about it, and they gotta, they gotta think pit when they do because they break off. I gotta imagine DJ and Josh would outrun them. Yeah, they got split off. They, I, I agree. I mean, hopefully they, they realize. You know, they almost screwed up on that last one. I, I guess we'll see. We'll find out here in a few laps. Yeah, your main thing is I think you got to let them. You got to let them be leading going into four every time somehow. You can't. I think you can let them be behind you so they can sneak in a pit stop without you. Yeah. Oh yeah. I agree. You do not want to be the guy that gets left out in the cold here. Uh, even one lap of no slipstream, and you've lost that pack, so that's a valid point. You uh, definitely don't want to get left out here. Oh, I'm hearing some beeping. 
Shadow, Johnny, and King, I think. There's a lot of beeping in the DJ group right now. They Pits might be open, and they might be pitting here. There's a lot of beeping going on. Oh, yep, yep, there are some cars on pit road. I did not know pits were open yet. Okay, Birdie and Dega. Looks like the all the lead pack came in. Scurry. Oh, DJ gets spun in the pits. Oh no. I oh, and Josh it. goes over the pit wall. Oh boy. Drama oh, in the pits. Josh man, ends up fine, but he skips. Josh comes out in the league as he skipped the fucking the slowdowns. Oh my god. That was that's crazy, folks. It, you're definitely gonna have to clip that if you got a good shot of that. Yeah, that was on uh, Josh's stream. Okay, all right. Man, I was looking at the wrong side of pit oh, road. Crucifix hits Malloy. All spins. Well, in the front pack. Let's see, Cam, Crucifix, DJ. Looks like they lost Beach Road. Oh, or Shadow. He's out ahead, way ahead. Waiting on King James. I think there was some incidents there. He waited on him. A lot, a lot of stuff going on here. So, so pack Johnny. looks like he rode stayed out actually. What? No, he he, he pitted. He he got through pit road cleanly. So. Oh yeah, that's right. He's by himself right now, um, but, I mean, those cars behind him, all, all they have to do is work together. And... They're kind of split now, though. I mean, Cam is ahead of Blackjack, is ahead of Malloy. No one's really slipstreaming right now. Birdie, Johnny Racer, Pitt, King James, Shadow, Pitt. Oh, yeah, we got to keep an eye on the Dega and... Oh, we have a caution. Okay, so we are under caution, it appears. Vitroad is pulled over. Wow, some late drama. All right, all right. Oh, dang, I almost want to go down there. I'll never get back up here in time, man. They're lining up single file, too. I believe they do choose code in this series. Get their lap back. Oh, what is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we got some late in and drama here. Uh, Jason, you sticking with your picks, man? Anything I mean, changed? DJ's lurking there in fifth. You know, he's always good on the restarts unless something bad happens to him. I still feel confident with DJ, and Josh is up there in second, so I'm still feeling good. How about you? Yeah, I, I'm I'm going to stick with it as well. Uh, I think there are some talented rookies in here, like, you know, some names that have been mentioned. But I think in this final stage here, you're going to see experience shine, and... Believe it or not, the most experienced person in this race is Blackjack. He's got more of these races than anyone. So, I think you're going to see him, and then obviously the skill level of DJ. Uh, yeah, I'm sticking with him. I will throw Darn's name out there, just as a... <laughs> hey, Josh, good luck, buddy. Good luck. <laughs> he, got, he said it all goes downhill from here. Um, oh, and the re it looks like. But yeah, I'm going to throw happen. Dart in the mix. I, I, I just have a feeling about this guy, man. So I, I, you could you could pick a, a third one if you want to as another wild card, but he, he's been impressive. I'm, I'm sticking with my two. Josh, you got it, buddy. Someone in the booth believes in you. All right, so we got Vitra leading the final restart here. Josh... Blackjack, Malloy, DJ, Crucifix, Exotic, Giraffe, Viper, Darn. <laughs> hey, Voltage. Thanks thanks for tuning in. Good luck, man. Good job out there. <clears throat> so, There's we got... Pack. Hey, man, you got a chance? Yeah. 
you got a chance play be smart avoid the bull crap what's gonna happen Got some drivers tuning in, some in-car interviews. Some beeping on the restart and Josh dropping back a little bit. I don't know what happened there, but it was like he let off the gas and he's in the middle of the pack now. Oh yeah, I'm watching the stream. Oh, we got another big pack. Oh, we got a crash. Josh is, it, is around. Oh, it's Josh. Of course it is. Oh, Josh. No. Oh, it's the first lap too, so Josh need Josh needs a miracle. Caution three's gotta be soon. Can't be too many laps left. Man, I don't know where the finish line is on this track, but I'm gonna start making my way towards it. Looks like it's pretty in line with the actual line. Oh, okay, yeah, it is. All right. I couldn't even see the line from my vantage point. Right. Oh, Scurry's back up in the mix. He was pretty far down there most of the race. Just giving a lot of drivers some hope. Scurry is a talented driver. Uh, you know, I've seen him around the Hot Ring community for a long time, and. Tell you what, you put on non-con, Scurry's got a lot of lot of talent. Crucifix going down on the apron mowing the grass. He must be part of the new landscaping team here at Daytona. Ooh, a lot of bumping. Oh, Dega hits Johnny. Oh, it looks like two cars, I don't know. Dega's pulled off. Oh, there's a crash on the back stretch. There's at least three cars there. Malloy, Blaze, and Viper. King James and Dega are about in the fucking infield. Or in voltage and King James. Pandemonium here, folks. We'll see another caution. It's gotta be. We got Darn. He's leading the pack right now. Coming out of four. This could be the caution lap. DJ dives to the inside. DJ's gonna get him at the line. Yep, we got DJ Darn, number 26. Yep, I believe they are under caution. They are slowing down. And that is lap 50, so this is it. This, There are no more cautions. This is the final restart right here. Still have a lot of drivers left to pit as well, right? I, <laughs> I, I've kind of lost... But the pit cycle, um, every time I hear the slow strip noise, though, I have been looking at pit road, so Giraffe needs to go back and look. He is more than welcome to. Wow. All I can say. Wow. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Uh, we knew it could come down to something like this, and looks like we got basically a 10-lap shootout coming. We got the former champion of this series, DJ, five-time champion of this series, on the front with probably the most promising rookie right beside him. So th this is going to be interesting. The old vet versus the new blood. Cameron. Or Josh worked his way back up to 7th, Blackjack in 10th it looks like, yeah, 10th, 
So both our Dark Horse picks still up there, so we got a chance. Anybody's race at this point, really. I wouldn't even take Draft out of the mix all the way back there and wherever he is. Voltage says, driving a black car for Dale, but instead I'm driving like Austin Dillon. <laughs> <laughs> well, go get him, man. Go get him. Do it. Do it for Dale. So on this restart, what I'd be looking to do is get to the front as quickly as possible and then pin my car to that white line the whole way around the track. Yep. You do not want no to be more. in the middle of the pack here. No, no more room for making friends. This is every man for himself. We got a great vantage point on the finish line. All right, here we go, turn one. Oh, Qbert's up there too. I haven't mentioned or heard his name a lot tonight, but he, he's got some talent. I wouldn't be surprised if he, he finishes up there. Another one of the drivers that's benefited from the restarts. Everyone, it looks like, except the front. That front four is really love to see those cautions. So far, so good. Pretty clean first lap here. The caution free period. They are on lap 52 of 60. Oh, we got Vicious rooting for DJ. Seven wide. Oh, and King James is around. Oh, TJ no. looks like the one that put him around. Will he wait? Oh, and... Uh, oh, shit, who is that? Darn is around. Oh, no. Who Who was all involved in that? Uh, King James got spun. It looked like by DJ, but DJ didn't slow down. And darn. Okay, alright. So, interesting. Uh, we're gonna have to check the footage after the race but we got an incident with king james and dj and darn so there goes two of the picks right there black track you're my only hope <laughs> see i think i still see dj in that front pack like oh james oh okay he pass. just he was in the, oh and yeah. another crash three drivers off viper's way off cam is stopped scurry is around no, not Blackjack Josh. Blackjack is slowed. Oh man, we got a whole new front pack we didn't expect. We got Giraffe, wow. Voltage, Crucifix, Malloy, Exotic, Cubert. I have to say this clips, damn. Birdie, Hammerman's right there, but it looks like he lost a slip. Vitro is up James there. Has decided to park him. Well, Vicious, you suspected right, man, because that was a lap of Rex right there. Man. I gotta remember to try to remember the white flag here. Oh, Josh is just driving by himself in 16. Tough break for Josh. I still don't know that everyone did it. Definitely going to want to go through this. Yeah, but it looks like Josh might be pulling over and parking it. Or he's waiting for someone. Yeah, he's definitely waiting on someone. I just don't know who. Well, it looks like he's going now, so whoever it was that just passed him, I guess. Scary. Alright, this front pack. Okay, so I believe they are on 55 now, about to hit 56. Yep, DJ leads them. About 12 cars in that pack. Oh, so DJ's still up there. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what happened with that incident after the race. 
he got the free pass or if there's a review coming. Oh, and there's a crash in three. Exotics around. Don't see anybody pulling over to wait. Unfortunately, no one in this front pack is streaming. Well, Crucifix has been right there all, all night. I gotta say, he's been on that bottom line, he's been holding it, and he's been in the top three almost all night. I think he's gonna have something to say about this finish. Very well could. There's a lot of drivers in the mix there. Could make the rookies, some veterans. Lap 57 as they work into turn three. And you gotta think, those three in that pack behind them, if there's any drama in that front pack in the last lap, they're gonna pick up a couple free spots. They they should be able to catch them. I mean, it's it's Hammerman, Dega, and Johnny Racer. I don't know Johnny Racer um, and his capabilities, but Hammerman's got a lot of experience. He, you know, he, he doesn't have the best results, but he knows how to slipstream. They should be able to catch that pack with three of them if they work together easily. Here we are on lap 58. Oh, a little bit of contact. Everyone keeps it straight. Alright, so coming to the line, this should be lap 59. Two to go. Get giraffe on the bottom, in the lead. I think DJ's time in the slipstream coming up the front stretch. That's what you'll notice with these experienced drivers, the laps leading up to it. They test the slipstream coming out of the last turns and determine if oh, they want to be in the front or in the back. The he keeps it straight. There's, there's some beeping going on in there. It's getting frisky. As we approach the white flag. Oh, there's so much lag in that turn. Alright, coming to the line for the white flag. We have DJ dropping to the inside to lead him to the white flag. Here we go. DJ's dropping back a little bit. Oh, that's a great idea. I'm definitely going to try to do that. Vicious, thank you. We'll do an interview after the race with the couple, maybe the winner. As they work into three, Qbert, Birdie, and Giraffe, top three. We got Qbert leading them out of turn four. Oh, he goes low to block Giraffe. Giraffe gets it. Viper passes on the grass to get Giraffe. Oh my god. That Viper. was a photo finish. Oh no, Giraffe. Giraffe. Game gave it to Trev. Yeah, I honestly I I'll have to rewatch the the replay, but it looked like he he passed him in the grass regardless. I don't think Viper would have got that win. Um, but if the game gave it to Giraffe, that's probably better. But a photo finish, uh, I'll have to get a screenshot of that, but wow. What what a final stretch there coming out of four. Kubert was just a little late with his block. If he would have stayed low coming out of four, I think he would have forced Giraffe to try to go around him on the outside. 
And I, I really think Cuber could have held on to that if he held that bottom line. Just goes to show you, it's a, uh, it's a game of inches, a game of quick decisions. You know, sometimes you make the right one. Sometimes you zig when you should zag. <laughs> but it looks like Giraffe comes out on top. For, for the, oh, what the game says, anyways. That's not an official, unofficial scoring. Giraffe is the winner. Alright, so Giraffe and Qbert, I didn't see who got... Oh, they're saying Qbert got it. We're going to go back and we're going to check the stream. Let's see if we could get Giraffe for an interview after, but let me check my stream real quick because I got a pretty good shot of that finish. Watching it back now. Oh yeah, Viper definitely used the grass. It looks like. Oh, so we we are about to find out who who won this race. So. Yeah, I just I look, I just screen recorded it. I think Hubert did get you. I'm I'm looking at it right now. I, I think I think Hubert just. Hold on, I'm reviewing it right now. Look, oh, no, I don't know. I, Viper went in the grass, but we, yeah, I, I yeah, Hubert got you, giraffe. I, I'm sending you the screenshot right now. Oh my god! He got He's you. Gonna be excited. Hold on. I'm gonna go tell him real quick. Add him to I'm the gonna, party, gonna, if if yeah, you yeah, want. I'm gonna add him. We gotta add him. Dude, he, there's he's there's so the cool. screenshot giraffe, so you could awesome. look at it. Give me a second. I'm gonna add Cuba right now. Uh, here, Jason. I'll send it. Well, I don't know, dude. Here, giraffe, Jason. I gotta send hold this on, to hold you. On, let, me, let me go tell him. Looking, looking at your your stream, I I agree with that. I think he got him by a hair. Oh my god, it's so close. It look at that picture. Like I I don't know, dude. Viper used the grass. Viper was yeah. ahead, but Viper used the grass. So I don't know. So let me see the finish here. Let me see the finish. We're we're, we're reviewing this. Hey, Cubert. So, see it. I see it. Hey, how you doing, buddy? So, Cubert, uh, you're live here in the booth, man. What a finish it was for us commentators. Uh, hopefully, your your mic is set to where the everyone could hear you here online. But how, how do you feel? So, coming out of four, you you had the lead, and it looked like you made a late block, and it got you a little loose, and then you straightened it out, and you're able to get back around. How do you, how'd that how did you see that playing out? That's that's it, word for word, my friend. You know, there's a lot of good drivers out here. There's a lot of strategic plays there at the last lap, and uh, I tried to let someone take the bait and uh, get that. Finish. I took the bait. I took the bait. <laughs> it was a it was a good race that finished. All three all three vehicles had uh, same exact time, so. Uh, so. Beautiful photo finish. I'm gonna review this here with Viper. Huber, Jason here, buddy. Great race, gotta say. Appreciate it. Uh, Jason. I want to ask. They got pretty close there at the end. We almost got to lap 50. You were off the off the lead pack there, obviously. How were you yeah. feeling at about lap 45 before that caution came out? You know, I don't pray for cautions, but they do help. Uh, There's a couple guys <laughs> working as teams, you know, drafting counterclockwise, trying to catch the big pack. But let's just say the big man was on my side today. <laughs> hey, you better be lucky than good sometimes. Is that right? <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. So. Just, I'm gonna say here. So Viper did pass below the green. So, Cubert, you are the winner of tonight's race. It's Appreciate awesome. it. First, uh, got second for is, the last is, race. We were that's official. It's official because Viper is is definitely below. I I I, I'm, I just right. took a picture of it. He's, Shadow said on my skirt on my stream. Just so you know that uh, he he says that Viper was pushed into the grass. So that that's he what he pushed. just said. That's what he said on my stream as he All was pushed. Right, we're we're so, gonna have to review I'll it. Watch that back. Back. But we're, we're we're gonna review it. But he's like I'm okay. watching. I'm uh, clip right now. He's, so right he's now, Cubert is the official, unofficial winner. Is, is that what I'm getting? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. We, 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 we have a lot to sort out. Great interview, though. All right.
I don't I don't think he was pushed. I think he got he got pushed before that. He got back I, on I the track and then he went into the grass again. That's what I see. Well, let's, the let's voltage says on my stream on his point of view he went there willingly. Do you want his video? Voltage, yes, send your video to giraffe. Yes. Uh, send it to giraffe, please. Any videos? I feel so bad doing this because I know Viper really wanted it too, man. Hell of a, you know, race by Viper. I'm gonna try to get yeah. him in here. Yeah, I just added him. Let's get Viper Vision in this. In this yeah, let's, this let's party. do it. We got uh, the three. We all finished three wide. So, but we need Viper's clip. I want right, to try and see this here. I'm adding him. Hold on. I added him to the party. Let's oh, tell okay. Viper. That was crazy. I think. Someone just said something in the chat. Let's see what this is. Oh, we should have interviewed DJ too. We got ninth. Yeah, let's get DJ in here too. <laughs> I don't know. Everyone in here is going to ball in here. That, bro. Damn, you guys are teasing me. <laughs> We're sorry. Though, We're trying it's, to it's figure all right, out. Yo. Everyone uh, yeah. needs to stop. Everyone needs to stop saying who won because we don't know. Is that Viper? You need Viper's clip. You need Viper's. Shadow Cuber wins. Viper wins. Uh. Yeah, I'm happy either way. Uh, it's good points for the start of the season. Um, you know, it was a good race with everybody. Yeah, DJ is offline, so. Palms are sweaty. What Shadow saying, chat? But we're just gonna. Hey, no, he if he was hitting to the green, then. Fine. But I, I'm gonna be honest with you. From my point of view. There, he was not hit. No one even comes near him. Because I'm looking behind me, right? Ichiro is not even close to his bump. And he's the guy behind him. So I, I think Cuber um, is the winner here. All right, I'm going to, uh, I got to run to the car quick. I'll stay in the party. Uh, just update me here when I get back. All right. Appreciate you. All right, Voltage said he's sending his point of view. And once we get to his, I gotta say, if that's race one, that would be a hell of a season. What'd you guys think of that? I, that really did not go how I expected. I'm not gonna lie. That, no one's so What did you think of it? We're, we're the I commentators. You're the interviewee. I thought it was, you know, some other. Crews in the past have ran this one and, and it hasn't gone very well for them. You know, I'm not going to say names, but you know, for us to have 10 plus new people and only have three cautions and have a 40 lap green flag run, I think it's pretty good. That, that's phenomenal. I think all, all over, overall, it was you know, just a great. It's everything about it that was phenomenal. And I'm all right, Cuba. Really yeah, it looked pretty good in the booth. Uh, it, it looked clean. I mean, like you said, a bunch of new drivers. I was expecting more cautions. I won't lie. I was I, expecting you know, more. I was too, but I think, you know, we did a good job as the hosts, like the, our group. Me, James, Shadow, Blackjack, Birdie. You know, we, we ran a whole bunch of stuff to help everyone get, get prepared. And, and I think that benefits, you know, people like Qbert and Darn who – who won the last two nights? You know, two rookies have won the first two races. You know that's awesome. Hey guys, Gibbers back. I, uh, do we have an official winner? I yeah, I think he won. I'm pretty sure. He's like, yeah, I think he won. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, the, yeah, pretty sure he won. I, um, think well, I mean, there's just no way Viper was hit. Um, regardless of of, of Voltage's uh, clip. Um, I mean, he, he's sending it, hopefully, but um, I know everyone's like trying to figure out who won, but um, we're trying to. <laughs> well, we're going to call it a night here in the booth. Uh, with that, we will update with any further information. Uh, where, where are you at next week, Dre? Uh, Bumblebee. That that that'll be a great race. Bumblebee Speedway oh, by oh, Venomous oh, oh, Eddie. Oh, we have a Viper Vision in the party. Uh, welcome, Viper Vision. We're Jeremy here in the booth with Jason. Uh, 
hell of a fucking finish. That last lap, last turn was insane, man. What's what's your point of view on on that? Can, can you have a clip of this, please? Because, like... Hold on. Well, you, it said... Hold on. Because high voltage hey, did send his Cuba clip. Here, bro. That was a hell of a race. I'll be happy either way, man. So, was, I, uh... I, I... Sorry, Cuba. Go ahead. <clears throat> oh, no, I'm just saying that was a hell of a race, man. Um, like I said, it's tough to... Like, hopefully that video will confirm the official. So Viper, I had a pretty clear line of the fin finish line there, line of sight, and your car was actually a foot or so ahead. Um, yep. I guess the the thought process there is, you know, if if the grass it was part of the equation, and that you know that's I'm just a commentator or whatever. But uh, beyond that, if it was uh, between Cubert and Giraffe, Cubert might have beat Giraffe by an inch. He did. He, um, by literally an inch, but he, he would, he got it. So it was a hell of a run, regardless of what the one, two, three is. Uh, hell of a thing. We're trying to figure this out here. <laughs> There's so much stuff going <laughs> Hey, Giraffe, how do you like process. being, uh, I've looked at just calling us out. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the situations I'm happy that I'm not in right now, because Dude, I've been in I don't know. Who, I might have to. Game number right now because any of us, I mean, I think Viper wins in my opinion, but I need that. So, you need Viper's Viper. videos, but you, you really yeah. need Viper. Did, did, you, did you clip anything for us? Anything at all? Like, you could still do it now, actually, if you hit the share button. Yeah, I think. hit it now so we can review because you could save it, the last hour. One thing. If, 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 yeah. if you were would be your press it once press save video clip and then you have to go back and fast forward all over the end yeah. and you can check it out don't go past the end it'll reset all start all the way but make sure your video down. thing is set to an hour because it's defaulted at 15 minutes so unless you manually go in and change it to one hour it'll only save the last 15 minutes which it might be pretty close but i think i changed mine to half hour okay. i'm gonna see I like how everyone's still in that in that uh race. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna back out of this and uh Well we, we were some... gonna have the winner go in the, the victory lane uh circle here on the on this track for whoever I think it's Cuba or Viper at this point, but I'm trying to figure that out here. <laughs> that was a phenomenal race. That's regardless of who won. That was that was awesome. Yeah, that, great race, fellas. It was great to watch. Great to commentate. Appreciate it. See you next week. Yeah. Yep. You oh, might see oh. the commentary team back next week. Uh, I will be in my next clip. week, unfortunately. We do have the video clip. Hold on. Oh, it's a whole video clip. Hold on. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on. It's a high voltage as well on his first ever start up there running up front. That's awesome. Love to see it. A lot of rookies up near the top. You know, we have, this is a really strong recruiting class. I mean, they won the first two races if the stands, you know, like... Such a good job. And that's that's all King's, King James. He gets full credit. And that guy is a recruiting god. I'm, I see how they could say that he was he bumped him just because of how close he is in that picture. But that um, video clip will definitely. I'm watching it, right? I'm watching high voltage's point of view. Okay, in my opinion, Viper, can you hear me? He, he didn't even touch you. Crucifix was not even near you. So, um, sorry, man, but hold on. I appreciate it, brother. We always got next week. Congratulations. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it. Thank in you the very much.
Appreciate it, boys. No. It was well earned. Been racing with the best lately. From where you were when we accrued, you've come a long way. So Absolutely. Nice. I'll be here for a while, too. Well, congrats, Cubert. Some people like Cam and Josh, who's in that race tonight, he's done probably close to 100 of these races, Sunday races, never and never won. And he's faster than me. Hands down, faster <laughs> than me. So it's not always about being fast. It's about being in the right spot and the right lap. Tonight, that was for you, man. So good job there, Viper. I mean, <laughs> hell of a job. <laughs> not much you could have did there. but. All right, boys. Well, I'm uh, I'm back in this lobby. I'll, uh, All right. We can do I'll the just wait for you to start it up. I'm, uh, I'm going to jump awesome. out of this party. Pl uh, pleasure to be talking to you all. Well, I'll talk to you all next week if you're there. All right. Have a good one, fellas. Thank you for commentating. Yep. Yeah. Can't wait to watch that video. All right. This is Jason yeah. in the booth signing off. Won't be here next week, but we'll see you in a couple of weeks, America. All right. Thank you, Mr. Jason. So we'll uh, we'll see you next time. Hop out of here. Thank you to everyone watching, and I appreciate y'all. And hopefully you subscribe do some more of these in the future.